you were, uh, you know, revealed to be Vince's son, it kind of felt yeah. like that was their way of going, JK, we were just kidding. Like, uh, we weren't even serious about this one. So the Vince's son thing, definitely. I swear it was, it was Ken, Ken Kennedy. For sure. Yeah. And, For and sure. Ken has Ken. told me that many times. For sure. Um, so it was that. And then he got himself into some trouble. And I was like, oh, I'm the son. And I still remember to this day being told. And I did not believe it. And it was, man, that's the craziest. The Vince's son era for me was the craziest time in my career. Like just twice a week working side by side with Vince on bullshit. Like nuts, nuts, absolutely crazy. And then the raw GM thing. So uh, Freddie Prince Jr. used to be a writer, as we know. And he hosted promo class with Vince. And I was like in the third group of promo class, the third class. And I had this pitch to Vince that I would be like the general manager of SmackDown. I would take Teddy Long's job. And he had me do this promo on Big Show in the class. And I was like, oh, that was fun. And then he, there was the idea for the raw GM thing to be revealed. And this was a couple months later, but then it was like, Hey, you're going to be the GM. They called me on a Sunday and they said, we need you to learn a New Jersey accent. And you're going to be big Nick from New Jersey. And it goes down in history as the worst, like, uh, not tryout, but run through of a promo in my, in history, Hawkins and Kofi were sitting in the stands, my two best friends, and they were sitting in the stands watching me try to do a New Jersey accent on the mic over and over and over, and it just didn't work. And finally, Kevin Dunn says over the thing, yep, all right, we'll give it a break. And it all got thrown away. It was going to be a big heel turn for me, running the show and all that, and it just was like, oh, yeah, he's the GM. We're doing nothing with it. I didn't realize there was more to yeah. this. Oh, there was, it was going to be Why did you need a New there. Jersey accent? I don't know. Well, I don't know why I needed a New Jersey accent, but I was going to be Big Nick from New Jersey. My wife is uh, is from Jersey. I could have her pop in here and judge your Jersey accent. Nope, we're good. I will never do another New Jersey accent in my life again. It, it like haunts me to this day. Uh, <laughs> and Kofi does... An accent of Dylan doing a New Jersey accent still to this day. And he, it, it makes like my blood boiled from how angry I get about that day. 